<laughs> this is Bodie's week three video recap. So we're starting out with a little bit of play with the flirt pole. Go get it. Get it, bud. He's not overly interested in it today. So obviously he really enjoys playing with it, but I think he's more interested in working for some food right now. Get it. Just like us. We'll get started with our training exercises. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is charge our clicker. So we've been doing this at the beginning of each training session. So I'm not asking Bodhi to do anything. I'm just clicking and delivering a treat. Just making sure that he fully understands the association between hearing a click and getting a reward. So we're going to do that, I don't know, maybe three, four times. And then we're going to move right into our first exercise here. So we've been working on having him follow a food lure. Come on, buddy. Buddy. Yeah, good man. So this week we're just adding a little bit of distance, having them move a little bit further while they're following that food lure. Bodie. We've also been pairing it with their name. Bodie. Good man. We introduced having them on leash this week as well. So I'm gonna run through that food luring again while he's connected to a leash here. So to get the leash on him, with minimal fuss, I'm going to grab a couple pieces of food here. I'm going to show him I have a food while I find a ring on his collar. Once I find that ring, I'm going to drop that food right on the ground. And that way I can connect the leash while he's eating that food. Minimal fuss. Okay. Did you get it, bud? So we're going to do that same thing, having him follow a food lure. Bodie, while we're pairing that with his name. Bodie. Good man. Bodie. Good boy. We've been working on their hand targets, their sits and their downs. So for their hand target this week, we are not having food in our hand. We are still going to mark and reward, but we're just putting our hand down nice and flat. No food in there to begin with. For the sits, um, we are having them do offered sits without having to use a food lure this week. And then the downs, um, I might do one or two reps using a food lure, but then we'll see if we can get him to do a couple without. So since he's going to sit, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Get him into a down. Down. Good man. Remembering to toss a reset cookie in between. Go get it. So sit with no food here. Brody. Oops, there was a rogue piece on the floor there. <clears throat> Bodie, sit. Good man. I'm gonna try down with no food. So it's not quite doing it, so I am going to grab a piece of food. Good man. Go get it. So when we're practicing our touch, we do want to make sure that we're using both hands. We don't want him getting used to you only doing touch with one hand and then blowing the other hand off. So we're just switching. I'm just putting the leash on the other side. You're lazy bones today. Bodie, get it. <clears throat> touch. Good man. And then when we're ready to take the leash off, we're going to do the same thing we did to get it on. We're going to grab a piece of food, 
let him start to lick and nibble at it. I know. Not too soft. getting him to lick that food while I unclip the leash. Good boy. I am going to have him practice some of those same skills without the leash on. Down. Yes. Good boy. Cody, sit. Good man. Down. Yes, so that one I was able to do without using that food lure to start out with. Go get it. We'll do one more touch here. Touch. Good boy. That was good, buddy. Okay, we're gonna move right into our mat skill. So I am gonna to toss a reset cookie to get him to move away from me. So that way I can put the mat down, go get it, without him trying to eat it. <laughs> Very interesting to them when I put it down. Okay, Bodie, go to your mat. Good man. So in week three with the mat, um, the dogs are finding settling into a down position on the mat and we're adding a little bit of distance, meaning I'm able to move away from him a couple steps and he remains in that down. So I am making sure that I move around in different directions. I don't wanna always go in the same direction. It's gonna to help to generalize this behavior. Good job, buddy. And then after we've done that a couple times, I'll release him. You also wanna make sure you're releasing your dog in different directions as well. Go get it. Bodie, find your mat. So I'm going to wait him out and see if he'll offer me a down. Good man. And same thing, I'm just going to take a couple steps away. Going in different directions here. Good man. We'll run through that one more time here. Bodie, find your mat. Good man. We're going to move on to our flying cookie game. So this is working on our dog's name recognition and this is going to be like the very first steps in teaching your dog um, a recall. <clears throat> so tossing a get it cookie to get him to move away from me and then I'm going to move where I am with each rep. Kind of make it a little more um, less predictable for him. Bodie, go get it. Bodie. Yes. So I'm clicking and rewarding the moment he looks back at me, and then rewarding nice and close to my body. Go get it. Bodie. Yes, good boy. Go get it. Bodie. Good man. We'll do that one more time here. Go get it. Brody. Good boy. Good job, bud. 
We have been working with the crate again this week, doing some crate games. So for this week, our goal is to load the dog into the kennel. Um, we want them showing some calm behavior. So as long as we load them in the kennel, they're being calm. We're going to practice um, moving away from them a little bit, adding some distance. Bodie. stops away. As long as he's remaining calm in the crate, meaning he's not whining, he's not pawing at the crate, I'll click and reward once I make my way back to him. Good job, bud. And then when we are getting ready to release our dog from the crate, we're going to take a piece of food and meet them just inside the door so that they're not rushing out and use their release cue to let them out of the crate. So I have a piece of food in my hand, meeting him right here with it. Okay and then releasing him from the crate. That was good, bud. Paddle. You're quicker than me. So again, taking a couple steps away. This time I'm going in a different direction. Good man. Good job, buddy. Doing good. This week we introduced grooming tools that make noise. So I am first going to review what we did in weeks one and two as far as body handling. So in week one we were just getting the pups used to us handling their different body parts. So since Bodhi is in a nice standing position, I'm going to start out by um, handling his tail. So for this I'm just gently lifting his tail up, adding a little bit of pressure, a little bit of duration. Good job, buddy. This is going to get him prepared for when they take his temperature at the vet. Yes! We've been continuing to practice our restraint holds. So this is where you're just putting your hand under their belly. Um, this week we are adding a little duration and a little bit of light pressure as well. Yes, good man. Yes, good boy. So for handling their paws, we've been working on adding a little bit of duration to that as well, trying to isolate one toe, kind of get the nail out from underneath that fur, preparing them to get their nails trimmed. So I'm gonna start kind of at his shoulder blade, slide my hand down, pick up that paw, work on isolating one toe. I know, buddy. Yes. Same for the um, back paws. I'm going to start kind of at the base of his tail here. Slide my hand down. You're squirming today, buddy. Pick up that foot, isolate one toe, kind of get one nail out. Yes, good boy. Fantastic, bud. We were also handling their ears, um, their eyelids, and their mouth. So for this, he can be in a stand or a sit. Might be easier if he's in a sit facing you. Bodie! Yes, good boy. I'm going to try to get um, a side angle so you can see it a little better instead of having him face me here. Bodie! Should we try this? Oh, the sack. Scoot. There we go. Okay. So for the ears, we're just uh, lifting them up, getting a good look, light massage, a little bit of pressure, some duration. Yes! For the eyes, we are just gently pulling back that top lid, get a good look at their eye. Yes, good boy. And then for the mouth, we're just picking up one side of their lip to get a good look at their teeth. Yes. 
Yes, good boy. Good job. So in week two, we introduced the brush and nail clippers. So for the brush, we're just getting them used to feeling it along their spine. Oh, what's that? Look, wrong hand. There we go. So I'm going to start out with the flat side first. Yes. And then I'm going to flip it so you can feel the bristles. Yes, good boy. Okay, here, go get it. Bodhi. For the nail clippers, it's going to be similar to um, how we were just handling his paws. We're adding a little bit of duration, getting him comfortable with feeling those clippers on his paws here. Again, kind of starting at the dog's shoulder blade, sliding your hand down and picking up that paw, adding a little duration, isolating one toe, finding the nail. Yes, good man. We'll do that with one of his back paws. Yes, and then I do want to get him to turn so I can practice on one of the other paws on the other side here. So I'm just going to switch my food hand and my tool hand. Yes, good man. Okay, now this week we added grooming tools that make noise. So we're using a Dremel. It's kind of quiet, I'm hoping you can hear it in the video. Um, I am gonna start with it at my side since it is so quiet. If you're using something that's a bit louder, like a pair of uh, clippers, you do wanna start with it behind your back because the noise can sometimes be a bit startling to these puppies. Um, you just don't wanna go you know, too fast too soon with it. So I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of food going to grab the Dremel. If you want, you can let the dog sniff it, investigate it. Um, as long as they don't try to chew it and think it's a toy, it's totally fine. You want this to be a nice neutral thing. So yeah, if they want to investigate it, let them check it out. So I'm going to put down food one at a time while this is on, maybe four or five in a row. And then I'm going to shut it off when he's done eating that food. Go get it. Toss a little reset cookie. And then we're going to run through that again. Good man. Go get it. So that is it for Bodhi's week three video recap. Make sure that you're looking at the video library as well as your handouts for more detailed instructions on everything we've been working on with him.